look at 11.2.5. Um, you mentioned that you looked at the 11.2 notes. So this problem is slightly different. It's actually a little bit easier than the ones from the notes because we were not given lists of values that we have to enter the calculator. We were actually given the mean difference right here, 1.02 seconds. So we were given the value of the statistic, meaning we don't need to use lists in our calculator for this one. They kind of did some of the work for us. So let's go ahead and do uh, our test. You pick the correct hypothesis I see here. So we're going to go to a t-test. Stat test number two. T-test. Okay. Um, we're going to choose stats this time because we were given these values here in the problem. So um, mu naught is zero. You can see that in your hypotheses right here. Okay, and then x bar was given as 1.02. That is the mean of the differences in the, the times the babies watched the uh, experiments. And then the standard deviation was 1.78. That was also given. And then the sample size, it said that there were, I don't remember, so let me look here. 17 babies, so that will be the sample size. Okay, and then we want to pick our alternative. You'll see your H1 mu D is greater than zero. So we'll choose the greater than option. Okay, and then we want to go down to calculate to get the p-value. Okay, so here is the p-value here. Um, the question is asking for the test statistic. That's the top thing. So let's type that in. Two, two decimal places, so 2.36. Okay, looks good. The p-value is the next number down. Um, three decimal places, 0 0.016. Okay. So what's the conclusion? Um, if the level of significance is 0.1, this is less than that. So we reject H0. So it's going to be either A or C. Reject H0. There is not sufficient evidence. That doesn't make sense. So we'll go to C. Reject H0. There is sufficient evidence to conclude the difference is greater than zero. So we'll go with part C. And looks like that is the answer. Okay. What does this mean? Um, there is sufficient evidence that babies do not have the ability to assess surprising behavior. Um, there is sufficient evidence that babies have the ability to assess surprising behavior. I think it's going to be B. Let's see what else there is. The experiment does not apply anything. I know it, it tells us something. Um, they had more interest um, when they went for the hinderer toy. There is not sufficient evidence. The babies do not have the ability. No, there's sufficient evidence. There is not sufficient evidence. Well, our p-value is low, so I'm going to go with part B. Okay.